Welcome back to another episode of Gang Life. My name is JC. I am wrong and strong. We're gonna talk about the insane popes today. The insane popes from the south side. There's, there's two gangs that had the same name, but completely different. North side, south side. Let's get into this video. In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise, like the mob, gangs, Chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated. In Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is gang life. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on their faces. All jealous cause your boy's second. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. Don't miss nothing, man. We have, you know, we, we talk about the gangs from Chicago, the party crews. The lifestyle from the you know 90s 80s 70s how they got started my life you know being in penitentiary in illinois and in the feds in california florida atlanta oklahoma texas and you know being incarcerated in mexico i share all this with you guys to hopefully entertain you maybe grab some laughs and maybe you'll learn something like learning so so you know it is what it is enjoy the ride let's do this in St. Pope's from the South Side, founded in 1973. Formed back then, they were known as the Royal In St. Pope's. I wanted to clarify that because uh, people that don't, you know, that are not from Chicago wouldn't know, but the South Side Pope's had no connection to the North Side Pope's. They were both all white gangs, yes, but completely different. In 1973, a group of teenagers formed their own gang or crew, whatever you want to call it. You know, this is the days where like the greaser gangs were going at it. You know, there was Hispanics moving in, Mexicans over here, Puerto Ricans in Humble Park, Blacks at the projects right off of Cicero. So it, it was a, a big, you know, um, they call it the white flight when everybody started like moving out to the suburbs and, and the whole neighborhoods in Chicago started to change like really crazy dramatic uh, you know neighborhoods that were all Polish or Greek or st started changing and it started getting you know Mexican Hispanics coming in so all these people were trying to form gangs that protected the hood you know just like the blacks just like the Mexicans so you know I, I get it a lot because you know they, they used to say that, you know, the popes were a racist gang, that popes stood for, you know, uh, <laughs> they would use the term protecting our people, eliminating spicks, you know. Um, it is what it is, man. You know, it was, it was a time of change and a lot of people, you know, they, they like to say that, you know, all these gangs are not, you know, races or it, it was a time of change, man. And there's always been some kind of like racial barrier between gangs, you know, especially back then. Now it's different. Like I've explained how, you know, the gangs completely are completely different in Chicago than they are from California. You know what I mean? And Cal in California, they've been segregated for many, many, many years. And they still are, still are to this day. Whites sit with whites, Mexicans sit with Mexicans, blacks sit with blacks. In Chicago, it's a little bit different. In the 90s, because we had black SDs, we had, you know, black, there was black Latin kings. They, they, there was a mixture of races in the gangs because when these gangs were meeting up and fighting, you know, they always wanted the, their tough guys and fighters. So they, you know, they were bringing other, other races, but you know, popes, there was a lot of there was a lot of gangs that were actually you know all white gangs you know the Gaylords the Popes uh, Simon City Royals so it, and they hung around the intersection of, of Archer and Kaminsky you know better known as Cool City uh, if you guys are familiar with the area on Archer there's Curie High School 
there's Miami Bowl, and then there's a restaurant right down the street. Uh, I forgot the name of the restaurant, if you guys know. It's right where it cuts the Archer. Um, but this was their hood, you know, and the Popes actually, they grew, they had a large turf. They were, they were from 47th all the way down to Archer to Cicero and Pulaski. That's a big chunk of turf. All the way like to 55th because Curie High School is right there. In 1981, they joined the People Nation. A lot of their members started going to prison, started getting time, so they had to, you know, uh, pick a side. This is where, you know, it, 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 the birth of the almighty and sane popes formed. And they formed a really, really tight alliance with the counts. If I believe, if I'm correct, I think the counts are their first cousins. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Leave me a message <laughs> and correct me. But, man, we had a lot of run-ins run with these guys in the early 90s. We actually would go to uh, Archer, uh, down, all the way down, and then we would go to 47th and uh, Cicero, where the train tracks were at. And we would actually catch them on that side of town. On Cicero from 47th, all the way down to about 55th, even all the way up to uh, that hotel where Don Archer and Cicero, right before you get to Midway Airport. Uh, we would go down there all the time. We fought with them a lot, a lot, a lot for two summers. Right, Malo? You know. it was. We were always taking rides over there. It was crazy because we would get into you know, fights with other gangs that were kind of far away from us, but they would come, you know, looking for us. And, and that's how it's always been with, with all the organizations in Chicago. You know, uh, there, there'll be one that'll come all the way from the north side to fuck with somebody on the south side just because you know, they don't like each other or they're at war. The wars, what always makes a an organization become weak is eternal wars, uh, wars in, in within, uh, bad leadership, you know, and that's what happened to the Popes is that they started splitting into two, two ways they wanted to go and, and uh, internal war started and a lot of bad blood started building between them and, you know, some of them went renegade and started their own section and it just, it, every, a lot of the, a lot of the, Gangs that grow pretty fast experience this because of, you know, everybody wants to be a leader, everybody wants to be, you know, a chief and not enough Indians, but it happens so fast that then with that happening, the internal war, and then with everything else, you know, people catching cases, getting arrested by the feds, getting locked up for murders, it, it starts to make it weaker and weaker and they start to like break off. They're not as big as they used to be. They're still active, they're still out there. Um, the north side popes are still out there. They're still folks. South side popes are still people. Um, you know, like I said, we had a lot of run-ins with them. We would go look for them. We had some good, good wars with them. I, I, I remember one of their big leaders, uh, Conan. He was a bodybuilder back in the day. Big ass fucking white boy. Uh, it all comes to leadership with these organizations, man. Sometimes, sometimes leadership is bad and they, you know, they crumble and, and break down. That's why a lot of these gangs, some of them didn't make it, you know, some have. Uh, nowadays, you know, it's it's all fucked. All, all these organizations are, are not what they used to be because, you know, everybody, it's, we live in a different time, so it's not the same. So this is why I, I share this, this history, this information, so we don't, we don't let it just pass and we forget because this is a part of Chicago. This is a part of our culture. This is like the Windy City. This this is Chicago, you know what I mean? A lot of these gangs formed from just being a group of kids wanting to party, wanting to have a good time and they end up turning into gangs because other organizations are messing with them and they have to do what they have to do to survive. Like I said, Chicago has always been a gangster ass city. No, no, no no questions asked it's always been like this since al capone days it's always been gun gunfights stabbings fights it's always been like this since day one 
it's never going to change because it is embedded in that culture you know what i mean just like the areas are split up and everything but like i said i don't share this to glamorize gang life i don't glamorize my drug life i don't glamorize my life in prison i share this as information so you can maybe get a laugh maybe get a smile maybe cry because you remember your days of fucking around <laughs> but it's all good intentions man my name is jc i am wrong and strong don't judge nobody stay in your lane live savage and remember you only have one life to live live it outside of prison